Okay, everybody, here I have my 8 horse Mercury. It's a 05. Four stroke, pull start, yada yada. Anyways, I want to convert it to a charging system. Um, I've got the flywheel off there. I used a simple harmonic balancer puller. Worked great. Came loose, so you just have to take the three bolts, hold the pull starter on. One, two, three. Then that just pulls off easily, and I just have it laying there because it's got a little cable hook to it. Then you pull this bolt out, use an impact wrench, pop it loose, put your puller on there, pull it off, came off piece of cake. Um, this is the, your factory ignition coil, whatever. And so I went on to eBay and I picked up, here's the charging system coils. So they'll go on, let's see here, one, two, three. So we'll replace the one that's on there with this combo. And then I ordered a, I'm trying to remember what it's called, rectifier, regulator, something like that. Because um, we're going to have to make it safe for charging. So, got to have those pieces to go on. Now, these ones I got used pretty cheap. I've got, I think, 80 bucks into those two pieces. Otherwise, new, this stuff is a couple hundred at least. So, and this motor has the points where you put the other charging coils and then you replace this factory coil because there's one in there. Um, actually, you know what? This is just stuck on there, so I don't have to replace them all. So if I take this off, I'm just gonna have to replace, or stick the two on. I don't even have to mess with the other one. They just came in a package deal. Okay, there you go. So you don't need that. I'm not gonna use that. Just need these babies. And then I'm guessing this plugs into there, and here you've got your ground and your hot, so hopefully it'll make some juice. So, I'm going to have to get some 10 millimeter bolts because they didn't come with any. I'm going to bolt those little coil pieces on, and then we'll be back. Got everything kind of temporary in place, so here's where you're going to put your two ignition, not ignition, here's your ignition coil, here's your charging coils, I guess we'll call them. Routed the wires down here with the other stuff, so that regulator thing I put here because I had three bolts that do nothing then the ground wire I hooked to here and then I'll run another one off of that probably um, to go with the charge system wires here so um, I need to run to get some 10 millimeter bolts you can see you're gonna have to have pretty thick ones probably maybe inch and a half inch and a quarter but they're metric um, 10 millimeter uh, socket is what goes on them so whatever size that is but anyways um, so far pretty painless as far as sourcing parts and figuring it out I just went on to like boats.net or whatever figured out what they call for new and then googled it found the pieces on eBay and like I said I think the three coil setup I had was 40 bucks or something or 35 bucks and then this regulator thing I think was 30 32 dollars or something like that so and of course you got tax these days, so still under 80 bucks and hoping this baby will charge. So uh, once I get the, the proper bolts, we'll be putting it back together and then we'll put it and test run it on a hose and we'll get the voltmeter on here and see if we're charging. I'll let you know. Got the flywheel back on. Um, I did use this wrap here and wrap these wires. You want to make sure they stay away from everything. Um, I rattled, rattled gun that back on. Nothing's rubbing, looking good. So now we can uh, put the pull start back on. Pull starts back on and tighten down. So that's it. I'm just going to keep, keep these wires so they don't touch anything. But um, tomorrow we get some daylight. We're going to hook it up to the water and we'll fire it up and then we'll test it here and see if we got any uh, charging power. So I hope so. Going to be running, you know, shrimp pot puller. You want to kind of charge your battery, run a radio, depth sounder, stuff like that. It's nice to have an option for a little extra something, something to put some juice back in your battery. So we'll find out tomorrow. So it apparently doesn't make any juice unless you have a battery hooked to it. 
All right, here you go. She's hooked up. We just got it hooked up to some leads, to a battery, to a voltmeter. As you can see, it's charging pretty good here in the idle. It's kind of odd because when you rev it up, it doesn't charge quite as much. normal battery voltage. It'll take a minute for the charge to come off, but so we're definitely charging the battery, so that's great. Start it up again.